Hey everyone, holidays are right around the corner and it is tough. There's a lot of pressure. Um, I feel like some people are easier to shop for than others. I think one of the hardest groups of people to shop for are teenagers, um, particularly boy teenagers. And I made a list and actually I'm looking at this and this, this list is good for teenage boys or men. It's not limited. In fact, I want pretty much everything on this list as well with a few exceptions. So, you know, I don't want to like put it all in a box and pigeonhole, but if you are looking specifically for a gift guide for teenagers who are mostly boys, these are very stereotypical uh, presents. And this list was compiled with the approval of Mr. Shane Goldberg, who has very graciously declined to come on camera. Uh, so, but we sat down and went through the list and basically I should title this Shane's Hanukkah wish list. Before we get into the list though, I do want to address my shirt. Um, I bought, this is a wild Fox sweatshirt, which I have to say I only own one. I get why they're so expensive. They're very lightweight yet warm and very soft and they're cute. They have cute sayings. I bought this after the holidays at, um, Saks off fifth and it says eight nights of presents are better than one. Get it? It's for Hanukkah. Um, if you are a huge fan of Wild Fox, of course they're carried all over the place, like Nordstrom, I know for sure. And I just saw their new holiday one. It's all white with a red bow that goes across. It's very cute, but it's a $98 sweatshirt. Um, I would be lying if I said I wouldn't buy it. I would like to buy it, but I'm trying to be a little more budget friendly in my real life. So I'm not spending $98 on a sweatshirt. However, if you like Wild Fox, the best place to find them online or check out the stores, but I think there's a better selection online, is saxoffifth.com. I just went and there's a bunch of um, sweatshirts on there now, and I bet they're gonna add more as the holidays are coming. If you like the concept of Wild Fox, but even the um, outlet prices are a little out of your budget, or just like, you're like, no, I'm not spending $50 on a sweatshirt, I get it. Target has released a new line called Grayson Threads. You've seen me wear that love sweatshirt like six million times. They don't have a holiday specific one out yet, but the whole graphic sweatshirt, soft, cozy, kind of drapey fabric, very similar, not identical, but like so close, it's almost not worth buying a Wild Fox one. Let's get to the holiday list. I have tried to sparkle myself up for the holidays. I'm wearing new sparkly earrings. I've got my Hanukkah sweatshirt on. I put some sparkly eyeshadow on. This is a Stila liquid eyeshadow. All that will be listed in the description box. Let's get on to Shane's, I mean, really Shane. I'm just gonna say right now, he will get like a few, not all. Okay, so the number one most requested gift for boys, teenage boys, um, is money, just cash, hard cash, real money, 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 make it rain on your kid. That's what they want. They love the freedom of just having the cash and be able to like buy stuff without asking us or like being out with their friends and being able to buy the pizza or a hamburger, whatever. So they love cash. They don't want a like, gift, like a visa gift. No, they want paper money. Okay. The second best thing though are gift cards, which as a parent, I'm always a little bit hesitant to just hand them a wad of cash and be like, have fun, because you never really know what they're gonna buy with that. You hope it's going to be good things, but you never know. My mind goes to dark places, okay? So gift cards are nice because you can't go to Nordstrom or H&M, Vineyard Vines, or PacSun, those are Shane's preferences, and buy things that are inappropriate, I think. Maybe PacSun, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying. There's a little more control, and again, they can pick out whatever they want, but it's not hard cash. Also, if they lose it, you can track it, whatever. Okay, so money, gift cards. Next are some technology things, which I personally, I would like all of this, and I'm not a teenage boy. Sometimes I act like one. So, headphones, specifically the Beats 2 wireless headphones. If you don't like earbuds, those you know big over-the-ear ones, the kids think they're cool. Oh, God, I feel really old right now. Um, also, Shane said just the uh, wireless Apple earpods. He thinks those are great. Also, um, another big ticket requested item is any kind of wireless speaker. Um, Shane gave his approval to the JBL Charge 3 waterproof speaker, especially because he is outside with his friends a lot, by a pool, waterproof is always a good thing. And really with teenagers, accidents happen, waterproof is always a good idea. Michael has a similar one, a small one, that he has hooked to his golf bag, so when he's on the driving range, he can listen to music. 
I live with some weird people. Shane has been asking for this forever. He's gonna keep asking because I can tell you right now he's not getting it. It's the GoPro Hero. He's obsessed with GoPros, really wants one. I don't know what he's gonna do with it. Um, in addition to that, he really wants a drone, like a really good, cool drone. Boys. More technology. I kind of want this too. He, uh, on the list of recommended gifts for teenagers is an Apple Watch. That's kind of neat. I don't, yeah, I'm kind of intrigued by the Apple Watch thing. Also an iPad and an Amazon Echo. Technology is just fun. They're fun gifts. I think technology gifts are cool because they're usually things you wouldn't necessarily go out and buy for yourself. I think that's what makes a great gift is something that's a bit of a splurge or outside what you would normally think is, is an appropriate thing to buy for your, not as like inappropriate, but it's just a little bit outside your zone. That's what makes good gifts. So Shane has also recommended if you want something that's a big ticket, big item for the holiday, a PS4 or an Xbox One and his particular favorite games that are on his list. So he said Call of Duty World War II, that's the newest one that just came out, FIFA or Madden. Those are the three games that they pretty much, that's all they play. And it's key, if your child is social, get a couple extra game controllers for your um, Xbox or PS4 because Shane has like five or six guys over and they're all playing. So um, if you only have the two standard controllers and everyone else is just sitting around watching the other people play, which strangely they enjoy doing. To me, that would be like watching paint dry, watching someone else play a video game. I don't get it, but it is the biggest genre actually here on YouTube. So apparently I'm in the minority. To go along with the kind of technology stuff, a Netflix and or Hulu membership. We actually have both Netflix and Hulu. I did get Netflix years ago for the boys for Hanukkah. It's the gift that keeps on giving. They don't even need, like Jake's away at school, doesn't have cable. Like I, don't, I think cable might be dying for the generation, the millennials, because they have Hulu and they have Netflix and YouTube and that's all they watch. I want this for myself as well. It's at the Container Store and by the way, not sponsored, but the Container Store, if you just want really cool, fun gifts that are very budget friendly for every group of person, whether it's a, a hostess gift or a teenager or your husband or you want something for yourself, the Container Store has some really cool things. Okay, and I look forward to their little holiday catalog every year. The Chipolo Plus item finder. So there are these little flat squares. You stick them onto things like your phone, your car keys, your wallet, something that you would lose. And you're able to track it and it emits noises. So you will always find whatever you've lost. I think it is brilliant and I might order it for everyone in my family. This is the coolest thing. It's the Couchlet USB outlet extender. So what it is, is this USB port that has a little attachment that slides in between the couch cushion and the frame of the couch or between your mattress and box spring. So you have your, where you can plug in your USB charger and it's tucked right onto the side of either your couch or your bed and it's unobtrusive and then you plug your charging. I think it's brilliant, I love it. Also, this is more of a gift for the whole family is a four port USB car charger. So you plug it into the cigarette lighter even have those in cars anymore and there's four usb ports so everybody like for road trips can plug their phone or their ipad or whatever and everybody's charging everybody's happy and the last kind of tech thing i would recommend is a pocket charger or an external battery charger you know um these kids are using their phones all day at school like the teacher's actually telling them go get out your phone look this up whatever but they don't actually have outlets for the kids to charge their phones or plug their phones in even like at lunch it's not like they're sitting around near a wall where they can just plug something in. So their batteries run out. So, you know, a portable charger that's lightweight but very powerful, I will list the one that I love in the description box below, is a great gift for, well, pretty much anyone, but especially a teenager. Now let's get to clothing and accessories and I don't wanna say beauty, but grooming? Slippers, um, not, Shane said not really these kind, but the ones that look like loafers, like almost like driving Slippers, he thinks those are so cool. Um, just for walk around the house or like when I say, hey, go take out the garbage. It's getting chilly here in San Antonio and it's nice to, they, especially boys won't say, yes, I want something cozy and comfortable to like lounge around in, but they do. They like it, they're people just as much as the girls. So along with that pajamas slash lounge wear, that like, you know, a cozy sweatshirt, some, jo some really soft joggers that they can lounge around in in the house while they're watching holiday movies with you or, you know, whatever, they like that stuff. Um, they're just not gonna say like, hey mom, can you buy me some nice pajamas please? They're not, but they actually, if they're fun and they're comfortable and they're cozy, they're going to appreciate them. This is endorsed by Jake and Michael and Shane wants one too. It's the Philips Norelco One Blade Electric Shaver. It's pretty neat. It's 
it, it is what it is. Like it, I think the name is pretty clear, but somehow it's like a better razor than others. I don't know. I don't utilize these things, but I've been told that's the one to get. Shane got these for his birthday. He got the Ray-Bans, the Wayfair style, um, and Jake is, has been asking for a pair himself. We'll see. Depends on his, I told him if you do well with your grades this semester, I'll get you a pair of Panica. He would like the Ray-Ban Aviators. So um, I think those are a very nice special gift. Uh, I got Shane a backpack from the brand Herschel for the school year and he loves it. And so he said, if I wanna get him anything from that brand, whether it's like a dop kit or a travel bag or an, another bag, he thinks that's a great brand. It's very masculine and um, he gives it a thumbs up. So that's just kind of a quick list. It's definitely tech heavy. Um, from the lips of a 16 and almost 16 and a half year old, these were his suggestions. I think they're good ones. And personally, I would like everything on that list too. So as I always say in many of my videos, this isn't just about me telling you what you should do. I wanna hear back from you. This is a community, we help each other out. Help a mother out. Let me know what some other good suggestions are for gifts for teenagers, specifically teenage boys. I feel like teenage girls, it's so easy. And you know, like that initial necklace from Kate Spade or one of the beauty kits from Sephora or Ulta, you're done. Like, it's just so easy. Girls, I think, easy. Boys, not so much. And men, tough, they're tough. So please, let's keep this conversation going in the comments below. Give me and all of us your suggestions. And um, also, if you don't mind sharing some of your gift giving traditions, I would love to learn more about how you guys celebrate your holidays. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this is helpful. If you'd like more gift guides, I do have one I'm compiling for like hostess gifts because that's always tricky. Things you might just want to have in your house when you get invited last minute to go somewhere, you can just take it out of the closet and go. So let me know if that's something that sounds interesting to you and I will get working on that some more. Thank you so much for watching. Happy almost holidays and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.